Hi, I'm Odell Borg. The other day, my daughter Tara and I were talking, and, and Tara actually has been with working with High Spirits for a few years now, and she's just a blessing because she's making sure that High Spirits keeps bringing, making beautiful flutes and making sure they get out there, and she's very organized and just real solid. You know, as, a, as, a, as a, she has a lot of the. the um, the gifts that I do not have, which is the big one is organization. I'm, it's not one of my things. But anyway, we were talking and she was saying, and, and, uh, you know, the other day someone had asked her, hey, how did Odell ever get started making flutes, you know? And she said, you know, so you might want to talk about that. And it's, it's a little bit of a long story, but I'm going to shorten it up a little bit. Uh, back in the uh, late 80s, somebody gave me uh, a cedar flute uh, for Christmas and I went oh my gosh that is gorgeous not now what because I never played an instrument before well in a very short period of time I was able to play it and you know from my ears it was wonderful matter of fact I kind of thought I was gifted I said, oh my god you know I'm so good at this <laughs> well it didn't take me too long after I was playing for a little bit and I met others and I'm like oh anybody could do this so I wasn't disappointed. I was just, I just realized that that wasn't necessarily gifted. It's the instrument that was gifted. And, and it was fun because it, it just brought a lot of joy in my life. Unfortunately, back in those uh, late eighties, I hit the wall pretty hard. Just, I was really just, I guess you can call it a midlife crisis, but I, I'm, I, I'm not sure exactly how to name it, but I just was really dissatisfied with my life. I, I just wasn't, I just wasn't content anymore about what I was doing, you know, and and I, had, in the process of all that, I lost my family, I lost my home, and you know, quite frankly, I I was pretty I was pretty close to pushing a shopping cart. I I was almost homeless, and because I just gave up, I just couldn't figure it out. I and I I I made a commitment to myself that I I prayed every day. I said, look, I will only move forward if I get right livelihood. What that meant to me was that I find something in my life that I have passion for and, and care about and that really contributes to the world. And I just kept going there every day, but I refused to do anything else. I was really stubborn about it. And it was a little scary. It was scary for my kids and, and uh, friends around me, but I just, I was in that mindset. and. Like I said, I was real close to that place where it was pushing a shopping cart. And I used to be very critical, I mean, real critical of people that were pushing a shopping cart and, or sleeping on the side of the road. And I go, I might get a job, you know? Well, I had to experience that, I guess, because what I found was that when you no longer have purpose in life, it just everything goes away. I mean, you just don't, without purpose, there's just no reason for living. And I, it was like looking down a tunnel without any light on the end. And it just was, it was really hard. I mean, it was emotionally and just spiritually, it was really, really tough, but I wouldn't give up. So finally, one day though, a, a friend of mine, she said, you know, Odell, you, and, and I had my flute with me all the time because that was the one piece of joy I always got, you know? And she said, you know, you love these things. Why don't you, why don't you think about making them? Because I'd always been a craftsman through the 60s and 70s. I was a leather craftsman and, and I always enjoyed working with my hands. And so something clicked in me and I, and I went like, hmm. So I, I talked to a buddy of mine who was a cabinet maker and I said, hey, what, what do you think? You think we could you know, learn to make these? And he goes, yeah, let's give it a shot. He says, I, I've been, you know, he's been making cabinets and, and it, was a, it was a shipwright for many years. And, so we actually did, we made four of them and they all sounded pretty good. I was kind of was like blown away that they, all had, they had voices and they, they, they were good. And from then on, I, you know, I, and, and this friend of mine, I, I had nothing. And this friend of mine, she said, hey, so how'd it work out? So I gave her one of the flutes. I said, yeah, I, I, made, I made a few of them. And she goes, she literally that day, she was pretty financially well off. She said, what's it gonna take for you to get started? And so I, I asked my friend, he goes, yeah, I got some used tools and stuff. So he said, you know, 
a few hundred bucks, you know? And so she wrote a check that next day for me and I just started. And boy, it, it just, overnight, it shifted for me. Not necessarily in terms of my self-confidence or you know, none of that really, that took a lot of time to build back up again. But in the mornings, I was ready to get in and start making, I was ready to wake up and go for it and I had energy and I had enthusiasm. And I had a slowly but surely, my self-esteem came back. And that was the beginning of my flute journey.